Hello and welcome to the class of handovers. So today in this class we are going to discuss about handovers, what handovers are and why handovers are required. Now first of all handovers. Handovers has a requirement. Requirement that these are required for seamless mobility. Or seamless connectivity so that means whenever we are moving we don't require cord, cord breakdown or connection breakdown we require that there should be seamless connectivity or seamless mobility whenever we are moving so for this requirement I have a concept of handovers like This is my front cell and this is another cell. Okay, so this is we call it cell edge. If this is a cell edge, that means the quality of the signal which it is getting is not good as compared to the center cell. Now, if we have a user equipment, it starts moving, UE starts moving, and it reaches the cell boundary. So, it always sends MR. MR stands for measurement, measurement reports. This user equipment send measurement report to the cell that cell I am going to a poor network area please grant me handover to another cell. Now granting of handover from this cell to another cell because you are moving you are entering new cell you are going into a poor coverage area and then you are getting better signal from your another cell so you have to get a handover to another cell. So this process is known as handover. That means passing a control from one cell to another cell whenever we are moving. So this process is known as handover. That's why they are required for seamless mobility. Because if we are moving in an area in which we have a number of cells connected. For example, cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4, cell 5. Here we have to reach. Here is the user. Now user has to reach this point. Starting a call. Now this is home cell this is foreign now it reaches here now this will become home this is a foreign again home foreign and suddenly it reaches here that means this user reaches here after passing through a number of cell and each and every cell has given a handover to it so this is a process which is known as handover process and why it is required it is handover is required for seamless mobility for seamless connectivity now if we talk about the types of handover so handovers are always of two types hard handover and soft handover hard handover is used in gsm we also call it 2G. We are using hard handover. Whereas soft handover is used in 3G. Now hard handover basically has break, before, make. And here we have make, before, break. In break before make, that means you are passing from one cell to another cell. If you are making a connection, you have to break first from here and then you have to make. That means first you are breaking from your home and then you are making with your foreign network. For example, this is a call and if this is one cell, this is another cell. This is a home, this is a foreign. It has to pass to another cell. So it will break first. It is releasing first, then it is making. It is break before make. Now, this one is used in hard handover concept 2G. Where is a soft make before break? So, if it is pass, it has to make first, then it will break. So, here, this is a process first. This is a second. Here, this is a make, then break. 
So if this is a call from one cell to another cell, it will make first. When it will make, then it will release. So this is make before make. So this is a concept of handover or type of handover which is used in 3G and this is in 2G. And handovers are basically required for seamless mobility. And for continuous mobility, we require a process and the process is handover process. This is handovers. Thank you so much.